So now let's start with polygonal modeling. So in order to start with polygonal modeling, I'm first going to bring in some polygonal objects so that you can understand it better. So let me bring in a cube right here, put this, put this aside, and let me bring in another shape, uh, something like a pyramid, for example, and keep it over here. So once you bring in polygon, as we discussed in last lesson, we cannot directly access the points and edges. So first of all, we uh, have access to its size and everything else. So here on the bottom side, you can see that there's its position. So I can move it left and right, and you can see that the position changes. I can also type in a position value, something like 200 centimeter. This is the default value, and I'm going to press and uh, apply, and that gets applied. Let me just move it around uh, in the side and let's see what uh, options do we have uh, before we convert it into polygons itself. Right now, this is not a polygonal object. So let me select the cube and let's see what are the options that are actually available. So right now I'm in the um, object, as you can see, there's some form option, option right here, which you're going to see in further lessons. Let me just go to the object option and over here, let's see the options that it provides. But before we do that, I'm going to press N and B so that I can see the edges, as you can see right here. So I'm going to select this and over here, you can work with the fillet, as you can see, so I can increase the fillet radius to make it much more smooth. So if I were to actually render this out, press Ctrl R, you can see that the smooth edges actually come into play once I actually do that. So I can actually add in the fillet subdivision over here as well. And here you go, there's the subdivision just like that. I can also go over here and over here you can see that this has separate options. So there's segments as you can see, so I can increase the number of segments to increase the number of details. But be sure that you have to do this before you actually convert this into polygonal object because after you converted it, you cannot revert back and add in more details. So uh, to make it simple, I'm not going to use any of this. I'm just going to use uh, no, no fillet ra radius at all, the zero centimeter and no fillet division. Same goes for this one right here. So I'm just going to use one right there and there you go. So let's convert both of these into polygonal objects. So in order to convert this into a polygonal object, I'm going to go to pyramid and press C. So once you do that, you can see that the UV texture the icon actually appears and this has been converted into a three point segment. And I'm going to do the same with the cube. And there you go. That has been converted into, uh, pyram um, into the polygonal object as well. And once I do that, I'll be able to select this object, of course, but I can select the points as well as we did in last lesson. So I can go over here, select the points. I can move around the points to give it a shape. And now whenever uh, you actually make changes to the point, I suggest you not to do this. That is freely move around the object because it may seem like you're moving an object in one place, but it may be moving in another. So the suggestion is you use these arrows right here. So it is actually moving in only one axis, as you can see, only the Z axis, only the Y, and only the X axis. This is for X and Z axis. This one is for Y and Z axis, that is a top and uh, back one forward. And over here, this is the X and Y axis, just like that. Also, while modeling, you can go to the side views right here to get a clear idea. So you want to turn this back into a, uh, into a cube. You can actually go over here. Uh, this is the top view, as you can see, which is a perfect square. I can also bring this down over here. And there you go. That's a perfect square, as you can see right there. So you can see over here that there are many options uh, which are helpful for modeling uh, and which we're going to see uh, these things in future lessons, as you can see. As we right click, you can see that there are a lot of, lot of options uh, that is that actually come into play. So I suggest you using these values. So I can go over here and there you go. So I can move around the edges just like that. I can go over here. I can change uh, the, the spacing over here and over here just like that. I can just go over here and there you go. I can do the same with this object. So I can go into a cube right here and then I can select the object. So uh, let me just select the object, the cube object. Uh, sorry, I meant the pyramid object. I can select the points just like that and move this around just like that as well, top, bottom, and so forth. Another thing I can do is work around with the S. I can select both S's as you can see and move around the S's as well, just like that. So I can select the S, move around the S to give it a different shape as you can see. So 
You can do the same uh, with the faces as well. So I can select the face that I want and move this around just like that. Let me just uh, work around with a more detailed object and show you how everything works out. So I'm going to go over here, make another cube. I'm going to move this aside. This is not a polygonal object yet. Let me increase the fillet and I'm going to increase the size of the fillet and the details as well and make it much more smoother. So what I can do is now, once I convert this into polygon by pressing C, you can see that there's much more detail to work with. But usually this is not a good idea to start with such a huge level of detail. But if you need it, you can do it quite easily. And you can see that individual level of pieces can be actually retrieved just like this. But the details as you require can be added on further on uh, just like that. There you go. You can see that the details can be added in by choosing the lines just like this. Move it aside, bring this outwards just like this. And there you go. You can also go for points, select this out and bring it outward just like that. And there you go. That's how you work around with polygonal models. So we're going to mo learn more about polygonal modeling uh, in further lessons. So this is how you control the points, edges and polygonal faces. Uh, by using the polygonal, polygonal editing tool inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.